Hi, I'm Lorraine Vandermeer, a student at the University of Guelph in Guelph, Ontario. Today I'm here to talk to you about California Safe Soil, an agri-food innovation to help improve Canadian agriculture. First, I want to talk about the importance of agriculture to the Canadian economy. According to Stats Canada, the cash receipts for 2009 totaled for $40.9 billion in crop and livestock production. Canadian agriculture is a booming industry, and with its growth of the amount of land being used to grow crops is also increasing. In this graph, you can see that the portion of total farmland being used for crops, which is the dark blue bars, is increasing. In 2016, almost 100 million acres were used to grow crops. This next infographic is from the Food and Agriculture Organization of the UN, and it displays the top 10 commodities for Canada in 2016. As you can see, 90% of the top commodities in Canada were crops. According to Agri-Food Trade Alliance, in Canada, 70% of soy, 75% of wheat, 90% of canola, and 95% of pulses were exported. In 2017, total agricultural exports were worth $64.6 billion. Crops are an essential part to the well-being of the Canadian economy. So what would we do without agriculture? What if our soil looked like this? Soil is the foundation of the entire food system other than aquaculture. And according to the FAO, 95% of the food that we eat is directly or indirectly produced from the soil. Soil is a non-renewable resource and intensive agriculture is having a negative effect on the soil that we depend so heavily on. Organic matter in the soil is a very important aspect to maintaining the health of the soil. Having healthy amounts of organic matter in the soil gives it better drought tolerance, increases the nutrient availability, and increases the activity of organisms in the soil. If the amount of organic matter in the soil is able to be maintained while the land is being farmed, there will be a long-term sustainability for the productivity of that land. This image is from Stats Canada and is a map of the organic soil matter in eastern and central uh, Canada. The red areas are places where large decreases have been re recorded. As you can see, a large portion of key agricultural land is seeing extremely large decreases in the amount of organic soil matter. So, are you someone who depends on your land for economic success? Would you like to know a way to increase your organic soil matter, increase your yields, yet decrease your nitrate fertilizer use? We have a solution. Food waste. We all know that food has lots of nutrients and minerals in it, and California Safe Soil is a company that has developed a way to harness those nutrients and use it to make it a liquid fertilizer. How does it work? Well, when retail stores have produce, bread, and even meat they cannot sell from blemishes and damage, they give it to California Safe Soil. California Safe Soil has developed a mechanism of breaking down this food in a safe and efficient way. The system uses heat, digest, mechanical digestion, and enzyme breakdown to break the food down. The process takes three hours, and the end product is a fertilizer that is packed with loads of nutrients. H2H, as seen in the top right corner, is, stands for Harvest to Harvest. This is California Safe Soil's main fertilizer. They have a product in all sizes for indoor plant use up to 250 gallon containers and even tanker trucks. The product is able to be used on any size operation. The breakdown process of the food is designed in a way that all of the fertilizer is, according to California Safe Soil, 100% pathogen free and safe for use on all crops. Harvest to Harvest has a conventional fertilizer, but they also have organic. Um, for the organic fertilizer, they just use organic waste from supermarkets. According to Safe California Safe Soil, farmers found that using Harvest to Harvest, their consumption of nitrate fertilizers decreased by up to 50%, and they were still able to increase their yields by 10%. By adding lots of valuable nutrients to the soil, increasing organic soil matter, and improving water retaining capability, California Safe Soil leads to improved yields for farmers. This chart is a data set comparing the growth of carrots with and without the use of Harvest to Harvest. There was a 7,000 pound increase when H2H was applied. This next graph is comparing the growth of strawberries with Harvest to Harvest and traditional fertilizer from GS Plant Foods. The red bar is the seasonal fresh weight of strawberries in grams. The weight with just the harvest to harvest shows 30% more yields than with the conventional fertilizer alone. This image is a picture of cabbage from field tests of harvest to harvest. 
The cabbage on the left hand side is the control and the one on the right has been treated with its traditional fertilizer and harvest to harvest. This cabbage is significantly larger. If you are interested in a field trial of your own, see California Safe Soils website for more information. Supermarkets are a key aspect to implementing the CSS in Canada. California Safe Soil currently has a long-term a long contract with Save Markets in California, meaning they have ensured themselves to have access to food waste from 225 of the Save Market stores. If California Safe Soil was able to gain a relationship like this in Ontario, say, for example, with Loblaws, there would be a sustained source of food waste to make fertilizer from. The blue bins at the bottom of the screen are bins that California Safe Soil provides to the supermarkets. They are double-walled double plastic containers that keep the food fresh until it is picked up by California Safe Soil. The bins allow for easy sorting for the stores and they also increase the cleanliness of the stores. Location is very important for this operation to be successful. Moving around so much food is very costly on energy, so the processing plant must be close to the supermarkets. This map is an image of the Guelph, Kitchener, Waterloo area, and the red bubbles are location of their supermarkets. This would make the area an ideal location to put a processing plant, as there are lots of grocery stores all close together, so food would not have to be shipped far. Overall, California Safe Soil is an innovation that Southern Ontario should consider implementing. It reduces the amount of waste associated with food waste, increases yield, and decreases pollution associated with fertilizer runoff, and is a way to protect our prime agricultural soil. For more information, a detailed written evaluation of this idea is available. Thanks for listening.